Hello again, Pokey people! Lovely to see you! Boy, this has been a fun and busy week of videos and Pokemon Go trading and shiny Pokemon and so many things and it's ending with a new set! Which doesn't want to be in focus! So it is Alter Genesis Day! Hooray! And you can see from this amazing art on the box, we already have fantastic things in store for us. I'll have a quick little look at the sides here if the camera will cooperate. It uh, looks like Kiram, Cosmoam, Mawile, Lopunny, and Jigglypuff just chilling out. Okay, that sounds that sounds like fun. Who we got over here? We've got <laughs> that's so cute. Was it Ursaring? I think so. Uh, Shwubat and oh oh, because I can't remember its actual name. It's like Hakamo, Komo, Jangmo, but I can never get them in the right order. I just know they all end with O. Oh, which is a sound I think makes sense for when I forget a name and my brain is in pain. So as you can see, I'm not fussing about time today. I am going to do whatever I feel like. Um, my phone seems to be cooperating now and is allowing me to upload to the iCloud. So let's just go with it. Let's just open these up one at a time. No shuffling, no cutting everything open off camera. Let's just do this, enjoy the artwork, and have some fun, because that's how I like doing things. We have a tornado, or, yeah, hopefully a tornado. And there's there's no water, so it's not a cyclone, right? Ten ton no uneri. Uneri? Yes. Huh. All right. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, no. So we're going to get a bunch of guys whose names I don't know. Gobito in Japanese. Oh, Sandy Guest, right? Sunaba in Japanese. Sunaba. Ooh, ooh, we have a Sekio, chin, Chincho, right? It's Japanese, it's just a uh, Chonchi. <laughs> That's so confusing, Chincho, Chonchi. Why would it be so confusing? And starting right off the bat with a trainer rare. Uh, whose bag is it? Bulken no Kaban. I feel like I should know what Bulken is. Bulken, 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 Bulken. I'll think of it later. It's somebody's bag, though. It's not a character's bag, I don't think. Bulken sounds like a title and not a name, but if your Japanese is better than mine, let me know. I really need to study, oh my goodness. All right, oh no, uh, Dragalgi, maybe? Or is he Dragalgi? One of you is algae. Doramidoro in Japanese, it's really beautiful. That is a very cute Alolan Vulpix, oh my goodness. It's so cute, he looks so shocked, what's happened to him? Oh no, Jarango in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Litleo looking so cute and a sunflora also very cute ah this set I've obviously had a couple things spoiled for me I know exactly what full art I want more than any others and you guys will have to try and guess oh unless we get it in this box but you'll have to try and guess down below which one you think it is if you've seen other videos or seen spoilers of the set list there's one that popped up and I was like that that's that's mine I need that <laughs> um Amaru though Actually, I wonder if you guys will figure it out. Oh, that is a really cute trap pinch. Oh my goodness, Sao Sao. You made such a cute trap pinch. I never knew he could be this cute. Oh. He's just, he wants to appreciate the flower, but his arms and legs are too short, so he just has to get on his tum tum and just. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, I can't even right now. Um, I forget what I was saying. That's okay. This is a Kuzumo in Japanese. I can't remember his real... Oh! Oh! It's so cute! Ah! Dodogura. Dodogura. Todogura. Todogura. There we go. Todo is sea lion in Japanese. And oh, a beautiful Alolan Ninetales. That is gorgeous. Aurora no Kyukon. So cute. Oh my goodness. Very, very pretty. Love her. Let's put her back here. Um, where was my brain? What am I talking about? What am I doing? That's a thing. So I'm actually, I haven't seen or heard any of my friends commenting on this, but um, as I think I've mentioned before, I watch a lot of Philly D for my news and he was talking about how YouTube's going to be rolling out some changes to child targeted content. And I'm wondering how it's going to affect people like me. Bye, Roar. <gasps> Look at that cute Rowlet by Saya Tsuruta. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I can't remember your name, but you want to be an eagle. Shwubat. 
also very cute, and by Shibuzo. Absolutely love Shibuzo's work. And you, Heliolisk, I think? I think, yes. Um, basically, I guess, like, the, um, whatever board it is in government office something or other in the U.S. that oversees advertising, uh, targeted at children, wants YouTube to be stricter. So, channels that make content targeting children could find themselves without advertising in the future. And obviously, I don't make that much ad revenue right now. Like, I can't even withdraw anything. That's how little I have. I don't have enough to be paid out yet. This is a Vibrava. Oh, very cute. Is that a Vibrava? Yes, it is. Oh my god, I got that name right. Ducklet, right? I'm pretty sure it's Ducklet. He's so cute. Oh, really cute Azuril. Oh my god. And Nose Pass. And our first GX is a Odoridori. Oricorio. That's its English name. Odori Dori. Odori Dori Dori. So cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know how that'll affect people like me because I'm not trying to target children, but obviously children might watch. And having the plushy opening videos definitely gives, and putting the ah sound on the over the opening might give the impression that this is a child content channel, even though it's not. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Will I lose my advertising? Will I have to just start swearing all the time? I don't know. But if you've heard about this and have an opinion, I'd love to hear it because I'm kind of like, meh about it. Uh, we got a Palisand by Oyama. That is fantastic. It's Oyama's art always has this really nice solid line work and really nice coloring. But <laughs> I guess because it's Palisand, it just looks like a picture of a sandcastle, which is what Palisand is, but you can't really tell this is a Pokemon. And I kind of love it for that. <laughs> it's just so normal. Um, Volcarona? Or do you evolve into Volcarona? We'll find out soon enough. It's a Sfeel! Yeah, he's so, like, full of pep and vim and vigor. Look at him go. He's ready. He's ready for something. And we got an Eevee! So cute! Oh, I didn't even realize I had something. Wait, there are five cards in a pack, right? Oh my goodness, I am just in another world. We have a tag team supporter. So that's going to be one of the very interesting things in here. Now, of course, um, this is a cool idea, but the fact that it's just, like, the regular Ken Sugimori art of the two characters just cut and paste slapped together in a background. It's like, wow! I didn't think it could get lazier than the Sugimori art just stuck on a random pattern background. But that, that kind of takes the cake for me. <laughs> is that it just doesn't look good. Like, they're not even interacting or anything. Which is why, obviously, the full arts for those um, are going to be much, much better. <laughs> but, like, come on, guy, You couldn't... You couldn't even try and, like, get a different pose or something? Come on. Um, and the palm. I like this artwork, too. I don't... Who's this artwork? Sumiyoshi Kizuki. I don't think I've seen this art style before. I really like that. That is nice. Oh! Jump Luff or Slurp Puff? Or just another puff. It is a puff of some sort, and it's super cute. Petal... Petal Puff in Japanese. Oh, so cute. <gasps> Rock, rough. Oh my goodness. Also by Saya Suruta. Her artwork is just fantastic. Oh, we got a really cute little teddy ursa with, look, our buddy back here, Arceus, just chilling out. And we have a hollow black Kiram. One day I will, maybe, <laughs> maybe one day is what it should be saying. I might try and go back and play the games I haven't played. I started playing X or Y. Like, I can't even remember which one I bought. That's how into it I got. I was like, eh, pretty fast. Um, I don't know why, like, going back and playing an older game that I've never played before sometimes is really exciting and sometimes just like, eh. But I would like to understand what's the difference between black and white Kiram. Is there regular Kiram and then black and white Kiram? I don't know. I should go find out because it might be really interesting. All right. Um, Peronimu in Japanese. One of them is a Slurpuff, right? Pretty sure. It's some kind of an edible puff. <laughs> Togedemaru, also by Sao Sao. See, I can't collect every artist that I like, but Sao Sao's art is also fantastic. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's another cute little trap inch, but the Sao Sao trap inch is cutest, so, you know. Cosmoam and another tag team. Now, see, this one, it's not the Sugimori artwork. But because of their poses, it looks like 
an actual illustration. Like, it was intended to be this way from the beginning. It's all put together. Whereas that uh, one of the... What's her name? Guzman? I can't remember the kahuna's name. He's a kahuna, right? Uh oh Anyway, it just doesn't look as good as this. Because this looks like it was meant to be together from the get-go. Whereas the other one... It's very clearly like, here's the standard character sheet so that everyone knows what this character looks like. And then they just slapped them together. I don't know why I'm criticizing so hard about that right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, all right. What is this? Um, Shimame Guri no Okashi. Interesting. We got a Crick Tot. We got a stone. Oh no, Fla Baby. Oh, he's out in a thunderstorm and he looks so scared, the poor little guy. And we've got an Ultra Necrozma. Very nice. I feel like we haven't seen Ultra Necrozma in some time. I'm happy to see it. It's a very nice Pokemon. Very, very nice. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit tired. <laughs> I woke up early for no reason today. Like, I actually was able to sleep at a reasonable time last night. Woke up early naturally. I've done two loads of laundry. Um, it might just be turning 10 a.m. now. Let me... Yep, it is. It... Dude, it is exactly 10 a.m. <laughs> um, so, like, I slept and woke up and got stuff done. And I don't know why. Now, suddenly, I'm starting to feel sleepy when it's like, I need the energies. Oh, it's a really cute Alolan Sandshrew. Have we had an Alolan Sandshrew card before? Why do I feel like we haven't? I feel like I've never seen this Pokemon in a card before. And my life is so much improved by it being here. That is so cute. Oh, my, oh goodness. <laughs> this is so cute, too. This is Jadako in Japanese. So I want to say it's Jangmo. But it's just, I can't keep track. Uh, Floetta. Fruaete in Japanese. So I think it's Floetta or Floet in English. I can't remember. And we got a lantern. Put it down there. Not that Lantern's not special or anything, but that artwork just isn't screaming at me the way the others are. Speaking of screaming, if you can hear my tummy rumbling at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably should have tried to eat breakfast before filming, but you know, the box arrived and I got excited. I think this is Golurk, just because it's Japanese as Gorugu, so I feel like it could be. Oh no, I can never remember the middle names. Rowlet? Dartrix, I think, maybe. Oh, it's a very cute little apom. Hi, buddy. We got a Cosmog and putting that down here. Didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing, which means you might have saw something because it's a double negative. One day I wish I could teach that to my students. It's one of those concepts that's hard to teach. Um, even to English speakers, like native English speakers, forget all the time that you can't do a double negative. That is a really cute bat. And I can't remember Swoobat, and I can't remember your name, but it's super cute. That is fantastic Komia artwork. Oh, and that Sunkern is so happy. <gasps> oh, oh, the little snowman is back. The little snow, the, 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 the Yuki Pikachu, it's back, and it's super cute. <laughs> Is this just what they do? Do they just go around making little tiny snow Pikachu sculptures? I kind of hope so. Please let that be in the Pokedex. Ooh, Alolan Sandslash. Very nice. Um, oh, goodness. We still have three packs on this side. I'm just looking at the timer and being like, I'm going to have to pause for a moment because, as you know, my camera will sometimes be like, oh, 12 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes, I quit. So it's at almost 14 minutes now. Let's see. Let's see if I can get through one more pack. We have a Swana. We got a really cute Rowlet. I love the clay. Um, you become Helioptile becomes Heliodisc, I think. We got that super cute Chincho again. And we have you. I can't remember your... Florges! Florges! I remembered! It's a Florges! It's a gorgeous Florges! And boy, is she ever pretty. Wow. All right, we need time out. Back. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't want it to cut out suddenly while I'm in the middle of a pack because that's just awkward. It's also just, you know, it's highly doubtful that anybody's going to sit there and be like, you switched what was in the packs because that's not very easy for me to do. <laughs> but you never know. Someone might be like, that's not what was there. You did a thing off camera. We have Crawdilly. Sphere will be super cute. Another sandy cast. No. Uh oh. And oh gosh. 
Rowlet? Dartrix? Huh? Oh no! Is Junaipa in Japanese though, which I love because it sounds like Juniper and Sniper put together and that just cracks me up for some reason. Junaipa, what is... Oh goodness! Now I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. It's been so long since seeing the Alolan starters that I've forgotten what they evolve into. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm a bad person. I forgot your name. What is it? <gasps> There's that Usering who looks like he's doing Tai Chi. I love that. That is super cute. Super duper cute. Uh, Lilip with an almond eye. <laughs> Can you see that back there? This almond eye is just like, what are you doing? Get off me. Is he kidnapping him? Is he sitting on him? Is he using him as a stepping stool to reach the sun? I don't know, but I love it. You! Skrelp! I remembered. Oh, wait a second. I didn't notice that before. Look who's back there. It's Palkia! So we saw an Arceus statue in the back of one, and now Palkia. So where's Dielga? I haven't noticed Dielga yet, but he's got to be around here. We got a Probopass. I was about to reach for a sleeve there for some reason. <laughs> I was like, Probopass, sleeve. Maybe because he has a giant nose, and I'm afraid he'll sneeze on me and cover me with the goops. The nose goops. Do you think if a Probopass sneezes, it, like, shoots out magnets? Like, you know, it, its mustache looks like that magnet thing you get with all the little magnetic pellets or little bits and you use like the stick to move them around and draw pictures that's what it looks like so i imagine that if it sneezed you just have a whole bunch of those magnetic pellets cover you and you'd have to like walk past a giant electromagnet to get clean i don't know why i've thought so much about this <laughs> oh my goodness you know i didn't even really acknowledge there's 95 cards in this set this is a bigger set um i think because it is number 12 if i remember right Yes, SM12. That's what it says on the cards that are in front of my eyes. Roll it! Apom! Sandy gas! <gasps> Ooh, midnight form like in rock. And now as we've seen a lot of the basic commons and uncommons, we can start to speed up a little bit. We don't have to rush like we have before recently in the n recent times of difficulties with technology. Yes. So it is a larger set of 95 cards, which is nice. It means that when the second box arrives, I will not be upset about it. <laughs> this one came from an Amazon dealer, and then I have the pre-ordered Pokemon Center one, which I know is shipped, but I don't know when it'll arrive. I didn't know if this one either, but I had a feeling that if I made sure I was awake and ready, and I had my camera batteries charged, and had a cup of tea, that I might be able to film before leaving for work today. So let's see, maybe I'll be able to come home from work and immediately put this up online, because that would be fantastic. I like getting these out to you guys quickly on release day. Also, I like the views I get when it's close to release day, <laughs> as close as possible, because I'm never going to have the connections to be able to get a box early. So it's like, the sooner, hey, there you are. I want to say he's hakamo -o. But I know I'm getting them wrong. Komo-o or Hakamo-o? I can't remember. He's very cool, though. I really like them. I just can't keep their name straight. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever be connected enough to get boxes before release. Unless I somehow become a dealer myself, in which case, then heck yeah, I could get cases and open them. But then I'd also have to have a business and sell things. And that sounds like a lot of stress. I don't want to be in charge of all that. So I just try to be as quick as possible when the new stuff's released so that you guys can see it and enjoy it with me. And you know, I can get some of those opening day views because I know there are people who just want to see the new sets and see what the uh, pull rates are. And that's totally legit. That's a totally okay reason to come by. And then there's like the core, maybe one to 200 of you guys who watch all my stuff and you guys are fantastic because clearly you're here for me. That's probably the most arrogant thing I've ever said. <laughs> I think this one's Volcarona, and you are something else. I can't remember, but that is a pretty cool GX for a giant flaming moth. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I I guess that's the reason why people will be watching. Because um, obviously when I have new sets that come out and I open a box, there's a ton of views. But when I'm doing things after release day or things that are not the new set, the views go down. But 
I also feel like those are the people who are here because you want to hang out and have a chat with me. And that is totally awesome. And I really appreciate you guys because it's just nice knowing that there's someone out there who doesn't mind my rambling on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Because I do ramble on and on and on and on and on. And I talk a lot and it doesn't always make sense. And I say weird things. But you guys still come and hang out with me. And I really appreciate that. So thank you. You're wonderful. I don't know why I suddenly went off on the spiel about view counts and things. Oh, we have a lantern. We have you, Cosmoum, Nosepass, and Lunala. Ooh, I love that artwork. It's just so fabulous right now. Love it. All right, let's put her to the back. Oh, getting like a cramp in my side from sitting weird. One of these days... I would get myself like one of those super comfy donuts you sit on or maybe a beanbag chair or something. I don't know. It would be nice to be able to sit a little more normally and film because um, my table is low and on the floor. So I'm on the floor and yeah, I keep putting myself in awkward positions when I try to film. <laughs> well, we just went bup, 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 bup and skipped straight to Tsurono, uh, Tsurona, who I know is Cynthia, and Katorea. So I don't know her name. I don't know anything about her. I know Cynthia. This is another one they just look slapped together, but it's okay because they're cute girls. <laughs> we can forgive it because they're beautiful. They can do whatever they want. And I'm pretty sure that's what 99% of fashion magazines do anyways. They take a picture of girls and they just slap them all together in Photoshop. And by the time the product's complete, they didn't even look like a person anymore. We have a Gigi Don, um, Drampa, Drampa Grandpa. We've got a cute little teddy ear. So once again, Arceus in the background. Yeah, you know, I forgot I was looking for Dialga. <laughs> Rowlet, um, you, maybe a Jumpluff, and Solgaleo. Very nice. We've done quite well with the hollows. I should pause and look at how many hollows there are in the set. Let's put this down here. What does it say here? Whoop. We got four trainer rares, six GXs. So we've gotten two of six, 10 hollows. All right. So we have a chance, I think, pretty good chance that we'll get all the hollows in one box. We're definitely not going to get all the GXs though. So that's okay. Or the trainer rares. So trainer rares, oh, the bane of my existence right now. Ooh, it's sweet and and mao. Once again, this does not work because there's no, no, you, guys, don't just cut and paste artwork and slap it on a background. Just these cards for me do not look good. And I don't know why I'm harping so hard on this, but they just don't look good. But the full arts, like, I, I don't know. I guess I can forgive it because the full arts are fantastic. <laughs> Ah, uh, Shwana, beautiful. We have four packs left. Okay, almost there. And then we get to do the big reveal of whatever that card is. The card that is super duper special and rare and would be a secret rare in English. Ooh, Cricketoon. I don't think we've seen you yet. We got another Lem Lem Le, another Alolan Sandshrew, a uh, Cricketot. Anarith! We haven't seen this card yet either. Hey, And there is our first Tag Team GX in this set. We've got my buddy Taj's favorite, Naganadel, hanging out with the Guzzlord. And that is back to the amazing Mitsuhiro Arita artwork. That is just fantastic. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love, love his GXs. He's just done an amazing job of them. Um, like, Dream League is an amazing set, and I love it. Obviously, I've still got the poster in the background. Um, but it was sad not having Mitsuhiro Arita Tag Team GXs, so I'm happy to have them back. We got a Wall Rain. Also, haven't seen that one yet. Interesting. Um, Stone, Dartrix, Flababy, and you! Some really cool eagle. He's just an Oguru in Japanese, I think. Mm. <laughs> Some of my students found out about this, so there's a possibility they're watching, and they're probably just, like, dying at all of my mistakes when I tried to read Katakana. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? My Japanese is not very good. <gasps> Sylveon! Hi! We haven't seen her in so long. She's so cute. Apom, Sunkern, Cosmog, A, hey! And there's that Mawile hanging out with, I think, Mega Lot Bunny and Jigglypuff. That is such a cute little combo. Oh, super, super cute. I love that. All right, last pack. Now, 
in pre previous recent sets, it has been possible to get two hits in a box. I don't know about this one yet because it's opening day, but who knows? There could be last pack magic in here. Really not expecting it though, but it could be cool. Hey, there's another one we haven't seen yet. Oh my goodness. So many cards in the set. Onigori. <laughs> oh, it's so close to being Onigiri. It's not even funny. Um, what's your name? Glalie? Snow Rent. He just de-evolved. <gasps> what have I done? Helioptal. You! Oh, and we got one last hollow. Buzzwall. Very nice. And, oh, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping, dropping the hollows. Dropping the hollows. Okay, now we get to look and see what our super special card in the box is. I'm trying hard not to say <laughs> anything that could be misconstrued as the card ranking, because it's so natural to just keep saying super rare again and again and again, but that's a spoiler. It's a giveaway, right? You know what's coming at that point. Maybe, but also like you could say super rare because it is a super rare card within the box, but maybe it's not a super rare. Maybe it's a hyper rare. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. English, they're just called secret rares. All right. That's the thing. Why am I delaying this so much? I don't know, but let's go in three, two, one. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, we got the ladies. Oh my God. <gasps> that is beautiful. I don't know what the other blonde girl's name is, but we have Cynthia and her friend, Cynthia and company. Oh, wow. That is a stunner. Her hair looks like she has another hand. I think she's possessed. <gasps> that is just gorgeous and this is why even though i kept harping on it i can forgive that uh cut and paste art job on the normal cards because this is what they've given us as the full arts and holy heck that is just amazing <gasps> not the full art i was hoping for though so you can still let me know if you can guess which one it is i really 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 want <gasps> This is just beautiful though. Oh, goodness. My Go Plus. There's a Pokemon here. <laughs> yes, I still use the Go Plus sometimes. Oh my goodness, are we catching it? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we did. I'll have to see what that is later. All right, let's do a recap and just see. Holy cow, it just feels like a massive stack of cards in my hands. Yum, 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 yum. Why? Have, I keep meowing lately. I don't know why. Or some sort of like variation of meowing. Everything's like, blam, 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 yum, 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 That's a lot of shiny things. All right. So we've got our hollows Solgaleo, Lunala, Midnight Form Lycan Rock, <laughs> um, <laughs> Florgis. Why can't I remember names? Ultra Necrozma, Black Kiram. Alola Ninetales, Buzzwall, and Trainer Rare. So in total, how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten hollows and a trainer rare. So I think we did quite well there. Um, also probably why we did not get two hits in one box, because we got eleven hollows instead. We got the two normal GXs. I don't know if there's a third one. By normal I mean not tag teams. Um, probably Volcarona. And Oricorio, the psychic form, very nice. We got one tag team GX, very, very awesome looking Naganadel and Guzzlord hanging out, having a party. And our super rare card from the box, the absolutely beautiful, lovely lady, Cynthia and Alternative Blonde. That's, that's her name for now. She's Alternative Blonde until someone tells me what her real name is, because I don't know. Katorea sounds like it could be Catherine or something translated to English, but I have a feeling they don't always make logical decisions. Like May became Rosa, Green became Blue. Why would you make Green Blue when Blue already exists? Explain yourselves to me. So I don't know. Maybe they probably named her something completely out there like Olga because, you know, why not? But she's beautiful and I love this card. And I love you. Meow. Yeah.